Hey guys, Brickman117, welcome back to the channel and my review of the Mega Constructs Halo UNSC Frost Raven versus Decimus. The set number is FVK38 and it consists of 1,489 pieces. The set consists of the UNSC Frost Raven, Decimus minifig plus his exosuit as well as a UNSC pilot. Before we get stuck into the review, I just want to say hats off to the design team at Mega for the box art. I'm really impressed by the design. It, it, just the box gets me excited and makes me want to build this model. So well done to those guys and keep up the good work. For those of you that didn't know, Mega are finally allowed to use numbered bags in their sets, which makes such a huge difference. This set came with numbered bags, as you can see, and it made the build so much more enjoyable not having to tediously sift through hundreds if not thousands of bricks to get the set built. So another plus for this set. I'm going to quickly throw this thing together for you now and then when I'm done I'll let you know my thoughts on the build process and the completed set. If you'd like to see that speed build at a much more sensible speed, be sure to visit my channel where you can watch the Frost Raven stop motion speed build as well as the Decimus Exosuit stop motion speed build. They're both available now on my channel. My overall impression of this set is good to very good. It was a really fun build, challenging yet fun. The end result is really good. I'm so pleased with it. It's such a good display piece. I cannot stop looking at it. And the big surprise for me with the set is the exosuit. I'll be honest, I didn't buy the set for the exosuit. I bought it for the Frost Raven. But building that exosuit was really good fun, almost more fun than the Frost Raven. It's a very quick build, but it's so effective. And the posability of the exosuit means it's going to be great for doing stop motion videos, which I'm really looking forward to. So with that in mind, let's take a closer look. First things first, I've got to say this suit looks great from every angle. There's nowhere you can look that it doesn't look good. And the detail is just everywhere. I will admit there are a lot of custom pieces on this, which does help with the detail, but I don't care. It looks absolutely great. And the color scheme that they've chosen is perfect. Very good compared to the game version. I will say, I don't think the scale's quite right compared to the in-game suit, but to get the articulation on the joints and so on, I think they've done the best they can. So overall, in my opinion, they've done a really good job. Whilst we're on the subject of posability, this suit has that in abundance. There is no shortage of possible options of how you would like to pose this suit. It's incredible. You can see that it can do pretty much what you want. And the friction power in the joints is just right. It's not too stiff, but it's stiff enough to hold the suit in almost any position you put it on, even if you want to balance it on one leg. It takes 73 pieces to put this suit together, which doesn't include Decimus himself or his regular armor and gravity hammer. This leads me nicely onto Decimus himself, and there are no disappointments here, I can assure you. He even looks good in his pajamas, which is a good thing because he has to wear them to fit into his exosuit. But it doesn't stop there. Put his armor on and he looks even better. But Decimus would not be Decimus without his gravity hammer, which looks absolutely great and just finishes off his look perfectly. To sum up the exosuit, I have to say it was great to build. It's got heaps of playability. I'm really looking forward to using it for dioramas and it just looks so cool. So overall, very impressed with this side of the build. When it comes to the Frost Raven, my thoughts echo that of Decimus and his exosuit. No matter which angle I look at this from, it just looks amazing. I just can't find anything I don't like about the build. The detail again is just incredible. One of the big surprises for me with this set was before I purchased it and I saw the initial videos online when it was pre-release, I wasn't keen on it being olive green. I 
really like the new forest green of the Pelican gunship which they'd been using for a few years and now as we all know they're going back to the olive green for the UNSC vehicles which just made me feel like they were taking a back step but now that I actually have the model and I've built it the color scheme is absolutely perfect and the olive green was definitely the right choice. These colors complement each other so well and although you can't always get true color on a video this is pretty much what it looks like. These colors are very accurate to in the plastic color. In terms of playability, the Frost Raven also has plenty of features. All four blades spin for simulated flying and the front pods also tilt forwards. They can't go all the way forwards. Well, they can, but you just can't spin the blades. There is a slightly tight spot, which does stop you from putting the rotors too far forward. The back pods don't tilt at all. They are fixed, so they just stay in the upright position. The main cannon on the front of the Frost Raven is a shooter. They've done a good job of making it well hidden in there. It does activate. You can fire the shooters and it's relatively easy to use. On each wing, the missile pods are able to rotate. Not that I think they really would on the actual vehicle, but you are able to do it if you wanted to simulate that. And on the back of the Frost Raven, you have the four hooks that you're able to remove and reattach to the inside of the rear struts coming out of the back of the Frost Raven, which enables the Frost Raven to pick up the Forge Hog, which you can buy separately. You're also able to remove the cryo tanks from underneath the Frost Raven. So you can simulate if it's dropped its tanks or it needs to recharge the tanks or if it was just having a service or something. So there's plenty of room for play. You can see with the cryo tanks removed, it gives the Frost Raven a much more lightweight appearance. You can also see when the cryo tanks are removed, why there is no passenger compartment behind the pilot as there is in the Pelican gunship, this ship can only take one soldier and that's the pilot. Given its overall scale, which is similar in size to the Pelican gunship, it's slightly disappointing seeing as the Pelican can actually carry eight soldiers, including pilots. Which leads us nicely onto the final figure of the set, the UNSC pilot. As you can see, he's wearing a mottled olive green over armor. His under armor is a silvery gold metallic color, which really doesn't come off on camera very well, but looks fantastic in the plastic, in the flesh as it were. Put that alongside his blue visor, his black boots, gloves, and utility belt. And I think this guy's an absolute winner. Really, really pleased with this figure. It doesn't show off its full potential on camera, unfortunately, but I can assure you it is a very nice figure to finish off the set. Although the Frost Raven comes with a weapons rack that drops out the bottom of its hull, it only comes with a Magnum, which is in light grey, but it is a nice one. It's got a metallic fleck to it, so at least it's a nice weapon, even if there is only one. Before I conclude my review, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the actual build process. In general, the build process was really enjoyable. The instructions were absolutely fine. They're so much better than they used to be. Very clear, the colors were all right, so there was no confusion over which part was which. Also, the actual assembly process was good. The, the days of blocks not fitting are generally gone. There was a couple of tight issues with certain pieces, but easy to get over. I will admit I went wrong a couple of times with this build, but once I went back and checked the instructions, I realized that it was my mistake, not the instructions. So the mega can't be blamed for that. There is something else in the instructions as well, which I forgot to mention at the beginning. This set comes with a couple of freebies. It comes with this handy little paper clip type affair, which is just for holding your instructions open on the right page. And also it comes with a brick separator, which I've not seen Mega do before. Maybe they have, but I certainly haven't seen one. I've not used it yet because I haven't taken anything apart, but I'm sure I will use it in the future. So as to how good it is, I'll have to come back to you on that. But I always appreciate free stuff in sets. So well done to Mega for putting these things in. And that just about finalizes my review of the 
UNSC Frost Raven versus Decimus set. I hope you enjoyed that. If you feel I've forgotten anything, feel free to post in the comments section below and I'll be sure to correct it for the next review I do. To finalize the review, I've added the Frost Raven to my Arctic field based diorama to give them some much needed air support. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.